Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to be looking at this Live the Music. This is Kiwi Ears. I happen to like kiwis a lot. I eat at least one kiwi every day. Um, not that that means anything. So this is a dynamic IM. This has got a medical grade uh, resin on it. It's nice and slippery. Um, let's open up the box. Inside the box is a logo. And if we can get this off, then you'd have your cadenzas right there. The packaging is really nice on this. But we're not buying things all the time for the packaging. So inside, you get these tips right here, which remind me of TRN tips, or the older KB tips that they used to use. Um, CBJ used those a lot, too. Then we have these black ones, kind of remind me of KZ. So you get a whole bunch of chips, and no, we're not done yet. You also get these smoke ones, which also remind me of um, the uh, TRNs and the ones that were on the tin originally. And then you get these guys here, which remind me of a bunch of different ones that I've seen before. So you get all those tips, which is amazing in the package unfortunately no pouch these are so good you want to put them in a pouch so you know if you have a case or a pouch or something you know go for it get them in there there was only three bags of tips by the way i think one of those bags was the medium sizes that i used to test in now that i'm thinking about it that i just grabbed them so here they are here and each one's going to look a little different because the design's going to be different on it. It's going to have a little bit different swirls. Uh, very nice. It is, of course, the the resin is the nozzle as well. That doesn't make much of a difference. I mean, I do like the look sometimes. There's a nice filter right there, if you can see that. And it's a two-pin connector. should be fairly easy if you want another cable. I don't see why you would need it. Because this cable is actually really decent. The fact, despite the fact that I just had it in the corner hooked up to my amp. And I took it apart. So I really do like these. Um, they look really nice. Uh, any color. I, I would have been happy to get any color. If these came in yellow or pink, I don't care. I mean, I don't even care about it. And I am. If it comes in pink. If it comes in pink or... Um, any color like that, if it sounds good, I'm happy with it. I really don't care about the color as long as it looks pretty. Because this is jewelry for your ears. It's like earrings that men can use, you know. I mean, not that men can't use earrings, but... Um, it doesn't matter with, with IMs. You can have pink. You can have those bright, lively colors and everything. Not everything has to be metal or, or black. So that said, of course, these have a healthy dose of black on them. They're so slippery and shiny. You're going to probably want to clean them because they get fingerprints. And it is medical grade, so there shouldn't be much of an irritant. I know there are some people that said that they prefer metal IMs because the, the plastic ones uh, make their ears itch. This one hopefully doesn't do that. So, okay, the sound-wise. Now, these have a healthy low end. I'm just going to cut to the chase right there. They have a nice, healthy low end. And uh, it has a decent amount of control. And these are like $30, $35, I think, $34, $35, some, somewhere around that. Um, it's a good low end, good control to the base. Uh, the base is far from overpowering, but it can dig down deep. I think that the mid base is a little bit more prominent. Nice, uh, decent speed there. Uh, not the speediest, but decent speed. Um, decent amount of details there in the base as well. Uh, these, in general, are not highly detailed. These are not smoothed over. They're just somewhere in the middle. Um, the best way to describe these is there are fun IAMs. There are neutral IAMs. There are boring IAMs. These guys are pleasant IAMs. Uh, so maybe this is a new category. Now, whereas, you know, sometimes things smoothed over can sound really nice and 
I'm trying to think of one that I thought was kind of on the smooth side base wise was like the V80. Um, these have a very nice base with decent texture and, and a nice amount of control. Good speed, not the best speed, but good speed. Um, and then we move into the mids. I think the mids sound really, really nice. Uh, a little bit of a, a centering to them. Not really a forwardness, but a centering. And I like that because it's like right there. It's right where it should be. I think the tuning on this is just spot on right where it should be. Not the biggest sound stage, by the way. Um, but it doesn't get too lost with congested tracks, uh, busy tracks. Um, overall, the, the treble, uh, I think that the treble handles itself quite well. Uh, it does have a fair amount of sparkle, but it is definitely far from, from harsh. There is no harshness on any of the frequencies with this one. That's what I like about it. So you're getting a, a healthy dose of good bass. You're getting good mids. And you're getting good treble with a slightly moderate sound stage. It's not the widest sound stage. If you want a wider sound stage, then you're going to want to go to something else like the area or go something more expensive. Um, I'm trying to think of something that just came out that has a large sound stage. That's like around this price. I don't know. Um, the Zero... I'm not sure. I'd have to retest the Zero to see exactly how wide that sound stage was. Um, I think the sound stage was a little bit wider on the, on the Hola. Um, so that said, I really do like these. Uh, I like the cable. I like. I found them very comfortable. They actually had a decent amount of isolation as well. Uh, great build quality, comfortable. I even fell asleep wearing these, no problem. Uh, they're built very good. They sound very pleasant. Um, I'll be doing a follow-up on these later on, but I just wanted to do kind of my impressions of these right now. I really do like these. And it's not just the looks, because I really do like the looks. Um... It's just the overall, in general, for the price, I think that these are decent. These are a decent choice. If you get this choice, I don't think you would regret it. Um, if you're heavy in the details and, and you want to do some critical listening, no, don't bother with these. Um, if you want to enjoy the music, definitely, definitely think about these. There's a lot of choices in this price range. Um, anyway, that's it for now. Uh, been the cadenza from Kiwi Ears. Thank you so much for watching. Please be safe, and I'll see you in the next video.